Hey guys, so before we go to the battle, I'm just going to show you my deck. Uh, it's my Cernius deck. It's a bit of an older deck that I used a long time ago, and I just updated it a bit and playing with it again. And it's fun, so let's look at the main cards in this deck. Uh, first of all, you have the Geomancy Cernius, which is really important for energy acceleration, so it's great when you get that in your opening hand, and you can just do Geomancy a bunch of times and load up the Cernius EX on your bench. Um, Cernius EX has two attacks, it's breakthrough for 60, which also does 30 damage to one of your bench, which is great because a lot of Pokemon have 170 HP, so if you put 30 bench damage on it, you can then later knock it out with 140 for X-Blast. So the drawback of X-Blast is that you can't use it during your next turn, but with this amazing Cernius deck, we have a way around it because we have Fairy Garden, which gives you free retreat, um, to any Pokemon with Fairy Energy attached to it. So when you have a second Cernius EX on your bench, you can just put that one into play and use X-Blast again. And then we also have Aromatis, which makes sure that we can move the Fairy Energy around. I actually think this ability is sort of OP because you can keep moving it around and you can move everything from one Pokemon and then move it back to the same one you got it from. Um, but it works great in this deck. I love it. So we also have Verizion EX. Uh, the Verdant Wind ability is great because we use Prism Energies, which can count as Grass Energy or as Fairy Energy. But when they count as Grass Energy, um, you cannot be affected by special conditions, um, which is just a dream come true. Um, with a bunch of Evo Soda to get an Aroma Tease into play fast. Fairy Drop, I used to run Max Potion, but I replaced it with Fairy Drop. I think it's a bit more efficient. Um, I think everything else is pretty stable. Um, I have Colrez. I love Colrez, and this is an expanded deck. I run Colrez in almost all of my expanded decks just because I really miss this card so much. Um, also, I mentioned earlier this is an updated deck, so I run Nest Ball in it. I didn't have that before, of course, because Nest Ball didn't exist, but it works great in this deck. Um, I have a lot more energy than in an average deck, but that's also because energy is so important in this deck and you want to have a lot on your bench. So even when uh, one of your Pokemon with a bunch of energy attached to it is knocked out, you can still move all the energy you still have on your bench around with Aromatis. So um, yeah, a bit more energy than average, a um, bunch of staple supporters, and then of course 4-4 four, four and 2 Cernius and Phryzean. Uh, I think it's pretty consistent and I love playing with it, so uh, let's take a look at the battles. Oh, yeah, also I named my deck Don't Fuck With Cernius, because, well, yeah. So it's time for the battle. Um, we're going to play against a dark deck, uh, which is good for me because as fairy you obviously have dark resistance, but it still gave the advantage to my opponent, which is good because then I get extra versus points if I win. And I lost the coin flip. Boo-hoo. Hopefully I'll win the battle. Uh, Alexeb, or something like that, is my opponent's name. That's weird. And my opponent has a mulligan and I have a spritzy. I'd rather have the mulligan. But at least we get to go first, so hopefully I can fix it. Um, oh, I still have to click done, I see. I didn't do that. Finally. And, oh, my opponent runs a hypno. That's good, because uh, I got Verizon. And my opponent has a dark ride deck and Umbreon sleeves. So does that mean this is an Umbreon dark ride deck or just a random dark deck? And it's Melamar in the active spot, um, which is actually um, kind of interesting for me because uh, Melamar's ability um, is to put a Pokemon to sleep. Your opponent's active Pokemon goes to sleep after you attach an energy to. Um, Melamar, uh, I'm playing a Pokemon fan club and grabbing a Cernius EX and a Geomancy Cernius, which usually you want in your opening hand, but when you don't get it in your opening hand, at least it's nice to have a Pokemon fan club in your opening hand. Uh, I touch an energy to that Spritzy, so probably gonna retreat it and put that uh, Cernius, the Geomancy Cernius, into play. 
It has resistance, so it is a 5 Melamar for a while. Plus, Melamar actually needs two energy attachments before it can attack, because it's one dark and one colorless energy, so... Yeah. Unfortunately, I don't have Horizon in play yet, so if he attaches an energy, my Cernias will go to sleep. But I do have a Prism energy in my hand. Oh, my opponent has a Secret Rare Nest Ball. Holy shit. I want that so bad. But then I also have decks where I run a playset, like with four Nest Balls. And then it would be kind of lame to have one Secret Rare card and three regular ones. And there goes Cernias. Lily first turn is so OP. I really like Lily. Um, it's basically just Bianca on steroids. And we get Verizon, which is nice. We're gonna put that right on the bench and put a Prism Energy on Cernia so he can no longer fall asleep from Malamar's ability. And we're going to Evo Soda for Aromatis. So even though my opening hand was pretty shitty, this is my second turn and I'm doing quite well for myself, if I may say so. Uh, put a muscle band on Cernia's EX, obviously. I like to uh, put Fighting Fury Belt on the Geomancy Cernia's and then save the muscle band for Cernia's EX. And I'm going to Sycamore and Energy and Colores for seven new cards. Then it's not really that interesting, but it could be worse, I suppose. And I have a Fiat Seeker, so I can just grab that Colores or Sycamore again later. And Geomancy for an energy on my Cernia's EX and my other Cernia's. But it really doesn't matter who I put it on because I have Aromatis in place so I can just move it around again next turn. Let's see what my opponent is going to do. She also has the Sororog Break Hair in her, um, in her avatar, but like... Already had on top. It looks weird. It does not look as cool as my avatar. And he's playing a hypnotoxic laser and he doesn't understand why it doesn't work. <coughs> also, it, my Pokemon didn't fall asleep after you attached an energy. And one out of two heads, so 60 damage minus resistance is only 40. No worries. And I got a handful of energy. Put a Prism Energy on um, Cernia's EX. Fairy Drop on my Active. I wonder what my opponent is thinking right now. Oh, I'm going to um, move it under Energy to my Cernia's EX. I don't think I'm going to attack with it yet. Um, just do Geomancy one more time to get some more energy onto my bench. And then I'll probably retreat and put Cernia's EX into play. But, yeah, my opponent might not even be reading uh, Verizon's ability. Because um, he should have noticed nothing happened after you attach an energy to Melamar, which was a dangerous energy, by the way. So if I attack with Cernia CX, I get 20, uh, 20 damage. Um, but dangerous energy isn't really that dangerous or scary. I mean, it gets kind of... It becomes a problem, I guess, when somebody has three or four dangerous energy attached to it, because then it's basically like a bursting balloon that doesn't go away. Tills, tills. Oh, one hits out of three, so that's still good for me. Only 40 damage. And, ooh, Fairy Garden. That's great, so I can just retreat for free right now. And put that Cernia's EX into play. I also have two more energy in my hand. Probably going to remove one energy from it, yeah, because I'm just going to do a breakthrough, and then just in case I get killed next turn, it's good to um, get some of those energies safe. And we're going to breakthrough, so it's going to be 60 on Melamar, and oh, 80 because I have a muscle band, and 30 on Eevee on the bench. Um, as long as he doesn't drop a dark energy on that evening, it doesn't become an Umbri on this turn, we can actually knock it out. But, oh, and my opponent is attaching a Poison Barb, I swear, like, he really doesn't realize my Verizon ability. He's probably cursing at TCG right now, like, there's a bug! Why doesn't it work? And there we have Umbreon GX. With one energy. I think the first attack, uh, like the difficult thing about, uh, ooh, it's 100 damage because he flipped tails, uh, uh, heads twice. 
Uh, anyway, yeah, that's the difficult thing about doing commentary later. She can't zoom in on cars that you want to talk about anymore. Uh, train is mail for nest ball. That's pretty cool because I wanted to get that second Cernius EX on my bench. Um, but I believe Armory on GX's first attack has something to do with switching. And it doesn't do a whole lot of damage, especially when I have dark resistance. Um, but there's an effect to it. I'm going to Fia Seek for Colores, which is a good idea because there's eight bench Pokemon right now, so I'm gonna get eight new cards. I wish I had more space on my bench, I'd just be loading it up, but obviously I don't re run Skyfield in this uh, in this deck. Because what are you gonna do with a Skyfield Stadium in a deck where you can give yourself free retreat? Oh, I'm going all out, putting all energy on Cernius, so we're going for the knockout. Goodbye, Melamar. It's nice knowing you. Just gonna be 20 damage. But I can live with that. Two prize cards. I love these sleeves so much, and it took me so long to get them, and I had like a million trades open, and then all of a sudden they were in the shop, so that was cool. Uh, yeah, you may switch this Pokemon one if your bench Pokemon is uh, Umbreon GX's attack. And then his GX attack... Uh, for the double energy. It doesn't really affect me that much. Oh, he just end me. There go all my Colorus cards. But it's cool because most of the cards I had in my hand I couldn't put on my bench anyway because my bench is full. But... Oh, and he has a stadium card which gives him 10 extra damage. I don't remember exactly what it's called. Is it Reverse Valley? I think so. But it gives him 10 extra damage, but I still have my resistance, so... Yeah, that 20 damage, Umbreon, it doesn't really hurt me too much. But yeah, Umbreon's GX attack, what I was talking about, uh, it discards energy um, from, like, you, <laughs> if Umbreon is your opponent. Um, but with Aromatis and Geomancy, worst case scenario, it really doesn't matter if he discards some energy, because I can just move it around again. Oh shit, I made a misclick. I um I meant to still move energy around, but I already clicked on breakthrough, so now I'm gonna have to attack. That was dumb. It happens all the time, but I put 30 on uh, Efeltel, so that means next time I can knock it out with the 140 from X Blast. But I meant to move the energy around with Fairy Transfer, but misclick and I just attacked. It happens when I don't pay a lot of attention. It's probably gonna go for his Shadow Bullet attack now. It's gonna do a bunch of damage, but not enough to kill me, and some bench damage, but he can knock anyone out, so that's good for me, because I can knock him out next turn. 150 damage on my 170 HP Cernius now. But, oh, almost made the same mistake again, let's move those energy around first. I'm not really sure what I'm doing here. Oh, maybe I'm going to retreat and then attack with the other one. Oh, no, I'm going to attach the DC, probably, that I have in my hand. It's kind of funny adding commentary later, and you're like, wait, what am I doing? Why am I doing this? And Umbreon only has 110 damage left, so with the 140 from x Blast, It's another two prize cards for me, and my opponent is telling me I have a good deck. Thanks, bra. Two more prize cards, then I only have two prize cards left and my opponent still has all six left, so even if he manages to somehow bench snipe that Cernius that only has 20 HP left, um, I'm still way in the lead when it comes to prize cards. Oh, and he just killed my other Cernius, not the bench one, with this evil ball. I mean, I had four energy attached to it, so um, that was pretty risky, but I only have to kill his... Um, Oh, I think it's already GG, because I have a DC in my hand, and I have 6 energy on my bench, so I can just load up on the Cernius EX, and then knock out Efeldo, because I already did 30 damage from when I did Breakthrough by mistake. <laughs> you know a deck is good when you still win after making mistakes. That's like the golden rule. Yay! 
Okay, so, uh, yeah, that was the battle. Obviously, I was at an advantage because of the resistance, but this is also just a pretty consistent deck. It's fun playing with it. Uh, the energy acceleration works out so well. And, yeah, so thank you for watching, and be sure to check out my other video with my Cernius deck, which is against Night March. Fucking hate Night March. But, yeah, thank you for watching, and see you on my next video.